Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about can you cry while manifesting? What happens and what to do? So if you like the video related to manifest power, I would like to request you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin, let's go. Can you cry while manifesting? What happens and what to do? Now, are you wondering if it's okay to cry while manifesting? So listen, listen this vlog to learn what happens when you cry and how it affects your manifestation. Can you cry while manifest manifesting? The answer is yes. As long as you are willing to find out who, why you are crying and take necessary action to restore your vibrational alignment with your desire. Crying is usually a response to negative emotions like fear or sadness. But sometimes crying can also be elicited from extremely positive emotions like joy or love. As I explain in my uh, so many vlogs, you always manifest what you feel. If you are crying tears of sadness, then you will manifest experiences that match your sadness. If you are crying tears of joy, then you will manifest experiences that match your joy. How you feel when you cry will affect your manifestation depending on whether the emotions are high, vibrational or low vibrational. But don't worry. If you cry while manifesting, because it is a totally fixable. Now, follow these tips below to get back on track to manifesting what you want. Now, what to do if you cry while manifesting? The first, clarify why you cried. The first thing to do if you cry while manifesting is to clarify why you cried in the first place. Are you crying tears of sadness or tears of joy? If you're crying tears of joy, then let those tears fall freely. You're on track to manifesting even more joyful experiences into your life. If you're crying tears of sadness, then... Uh, Take a moment to acknowledge your negative emotions. Ask yourself, how do I feel right now? And why am I feeling this way? So write down your answer in your manifestation journal. This step creates separation between you and the negative thoughts. So you can remember that you are not the thoughts. You are witness of these thoughts. In doing so, you reclaim your power over your thought system, which allows you to choose better feeling thought. Now, the second part, forgive yourself for crying. The second thing to do if you cry while manifesting is to forgive yourself for crying. Whether people want to admit it or not, everyone cries. Crying is a normal response to intense emotion. Instead of beating yourself up over crying, use it as a sign from the universe telling you to realign your vibration with a positive feeling you want to experience instead. Forgive yourself for crying and celebrate this reminder from the universe to get back into alignment with positive energy. Now welcome a miracle from the universe by shifting your perception from fear to love. Knowing how you don't want to feel allows you to clarify how you do want to feel. Now the third part, raise your vibration. The final thing to do if you cry while manifesting is to choose better feeling thought. Once you have witnessed how you feel and forgiven yourself, it's time to raise your vibration back into a positive place. Choose how you want to feel right now. Use your negative feeling as a compass toward how you want to feel instead. Use the emotional guidance scale to identify positive emotions that you can easily reach for right now. Then do whatever you can right now to cultivate that feeling. Some simple but powerful ways to raise your vibration are to recite. I'm affirmation. Pray to the universe and follow a manifestation meditation. That's all about the manifest power in this video. I hope you all liked it. I'll definitely come in the next video with my another content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care.